All right, welcome back. We're now joined by the Terrebonne Parish President, Gordon Dove. Mr. Dove, good to have you on board. How are you? Good to be here, Martin. All right, and like, like I was telling Archie Chesson, good to have you all on and be mixing in some Mardi Gras stuff. It's been a couple of years since we've really had a normal Mardi Gras season, so we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But let, let's start off with Hurricane Ida. I've been noticing a lot of trucks now on the bayous actually picking up trees from the waterways and all that. Bring us up to date on the cleanup. It seems like it's moved into different areas now. Yeah, Martin, we, Terrebonne Parish has numerous barges with grapple hooks. These grapple machines that's, that's picking up debris, picking up trees, everything but marine vessels and the whole camps. And the problem with marine vessels, the EPA will not let us pick them up because they have diesel in it. If you pick it up and the diesel spills, mm -hmm. you have an environmental disaster. So if it was up to me, I'd go pick it up with a crane, but when, you know, the EPA is telling us not to. And uh, uh, NERC, it, excuse me, NRC is uh, supposed to come pick it up, which is the feds. Right. I, I see the trucks still rolling, those big double tandem, large trucks are still rolling. I still see <clears throat> the parish trucks rolling if, if not not with you i know you're a numbers guy so we're not going to guesstimate you're probably going to tell me where are we percentage wise in the parish with with trash how much are we picking up today as compared to the peak time well martin we picked up well over 3.4 million cubic yards and remember that doesn't include the state highways that was the state handling that. Mm -hmm. Even though we've picked a lot of it up ourselves with our own equipment on the state highways, now we're cleaning everything up. That the smaller debris, we still have DRC picking up because, you know, a lot of areas is their fourth or fifth time that they're cleaning up. I mean, as people are tearing it down. Mm -hmm. And while I'm trying to talk about tearing it down, if you have a, a structure, go to tpcg.org on demolition and you can apply, and if you qualify, we'll go tear down a, a facility, you know, a building, mm -hmm. garage, house, camp, no matter, as long as you, you comply, because we're reimbursed by FEMA. So the parish will go on your property, they will tear down, but it's, 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 it's got an application and all, you have to go online. But that's a perfect time for somebody who wants to get rid of a structure is to take advantage of that, because I'm sure it's going to run out at one point, right? Right, and go to tpcg.org, and it'll, it'll guide you to it, and, uh, and uh, you know, it, it tear down, you know, and then we'll go in there, tear down, and haul it off, you mm -hmm. know. Now, you know, as soon as DRC, which is who we contracted uh, 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 to do all this cleanup in Terrebonne, when, you know, when they leave, which I believe will be the end of this month, toward the, the middle of next month, we're trying to hold them off as long as we can till FEMA quits paying them, then we'll take over with our equipment. Now, you know, we see a lot of trash on side the roads and people are still dumping trash, throwing stuff out their windows, and we're asking the public, please don't do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you see trash someplace, that doesn't mean give you the right to go put more trash. Right. You know, there are a lot of people that's dumping stuff and we will prosecute them if we catch them. Yeah, they're just dumping it in the medium. Yeah. Some of, yeah. Yeah, ditches and... I mean, you know, we've got three teams out constantly works for the parish. You'll see them, and it's a white pickup truck with an emblem on the side, and they'll be in a, a golf cart or, you know, a Polaris, one of those vehicles, and we are cleaning up as quick as humanly possible. And if you can clean up in front of your yard, if there's a ditch, we'd appreciate it. Every little bit helps. And get Terrebonne back to the, to the beautiful parish it was before this, this, this terrible Ida. I, I know you you are like me you ride around a lot to, you know in in your eyes have always been fixed on a certain area let's take barrel street for example and sometimes i ride down barrel street and my markings are all screwed up because this building's gone this building's gone this building's gone and it sort of changes the landscape but at the same time some of these buildings that were a little older gives people a chance to rebuild Give them a chance to rebuild. Um, you know, there's some structures on Main Street that's going to come down. Mm -hmm. You know, I, we try to we try to protect in, in a, uh, 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 you know historic buildings, but it comes to a point where a building's no longer historic. You know, if the roof's gone, the walls are gone, it's cracked. I mean, it's just one thing you can do is tear it down. Mm -hmm. 
and of course you, you need to get a permit to do that and check with the historic uh, 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 the society, yeah. society here, you know, if, if you're downtown, I'm saying, mm -hmm. but a lot of this stuff can be rebuilt and, and we can try to duplicate what was Terrebonne Parish, you know. Yeah, you make a good point. If, if a building is 100% historic, but you've lost 70% of it, when you rebuild no it, it's historic. not going to be historic. And yeah. it's not structurally sound. Right. You know, I mean, you can't, you can't do nothing with it, and it needs to come down, if that's the, if that's the point, you right. know. So anyway, but uh, so with about a minute left in this segment, progress. I mean, I think we all want to see progress. I, I'm seeing a lot more streets cleaned up. Like you said, they still got trash in different areas, but y'all, Leaps and bounds, it just looks better. Less blue tarps. When I look out my window on the seventh floor of the government towers, I still see blue tarps, but not 20% of what I used to see. So things are getting repaired. Some people have a lot more extensive repairs than others. We've got 2,000 FEMA trailers and travel trailers out that's that, that uh, through the state GOSEF that is, is, is deployed and people living in them. So. We're real, really moving terrible on around. The sales tax has been up 38% to 46% per month, and Terrebonne's really coming around. All right, there you have it, the parish president <laughs> of Terrebonne Parish, Mr. Gordon Dow. We're going to come back. We're going to talk a little bit about Elliot Jones. We're going to talk about Mardi Gras, and we'll talk some COVID. We'll be right back.